Hi, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a solution to a problem that I know you've been struggling with for some time. Painting plastic bumpers is common every day in every body shop. And when you think about the amount of white bumpers that you paint, wouldn't it be good to have a very fast, but secure and reliable process to work with? Therefore, I'm sure you'll be interested to know that we now have a primer surfacer available in three colors, including a pure white, which is suitable for wet on wet application, direct to plastics without the need for pre-priming, and it has an overcoat time of only five minutes. As always, start by tempering your new unprimed plastic part for 60 minutes at 60 to 65 degrees C, as this will bring any remaining release agents to the surface and will make your cleaning and preparation much easier. If you're smart and you think ahead, place the bumper in the booth at the same time as you're drying another job to save on energy costs. Clean with an appropriate plastic cleaner or silicone remover and grey ultra-fine sanding pad to remove the release agents thoroughly. Clean once again with a cloth moistened with plastic cleaner or silicone remover and dry thoroughly with a clean cloth. Finally, allow the bumper to stand for a short time to allow any residual solvent to evaporate from the plastic substrate. Now making the product ready for use is actually a very similar process to that that we use for the metal product. We simply replace the 10% accelerator with 20% of the direct plastic additive. Now the plastic additive actually starts to give us some benefit straight away in as much as it gives us the adhesion to the plastic we need and it flexibilizes the product. And this is going to save us time as it means one less step in the mixing process and also one less product that we need. Now, a good little bit of advice here for you is to take a gun with a top coat set up around about a 1.3 or 1.4, and this will give us the best lay down with the primer surfaces so that we can apply the base coat directly to it. For the gun itself, we're gonna set this at an inlet pressure of 1.5 to 1.8 bar, which is around about 22 to 26 PSI. For the white color, we need two full coats which are applied wet on wet. For the black and the gray product, we need only a half coat followed by a full coat. Now, it's 24 minutes past two. Let's come back in five minutes and see how dry it is and see if we can denib it. So my cameraman is actually pushing me to make sure that I get this in time. It's actually now 2.29 and believe me, it has been five minutes. I just want to show you the sanding of this though. You would expect with a flexibilized product that this would still be a little bit rubbery, but let's take a check. And as you can see, I've got some nice powder on my soft back sanding sponge here. I'll just take a different type of abrasive, which might be a little bit more aggressive. Again, no issue with that. So you can rest assured this dries within five minutes. The observant amongst you will have also noticed that I applied the same mixture to the fender as well. Now this is gonna save you time, money and effort because you only need to come into the cabin with one pot. You don't need two separate mixes for plastic and metal substrates. Of course, our main focus here was for wet-on-wet -wet application of new parts, but this new plastic additive can also be used in the low-energy sanding surfacer and again has a direct-to-plastic application, 
there is no need to apply a primer beforehand. This makes the surface so flexible without compromising on performance or process. The super fast air dry performance of the surface or filler is also not affected and this can be sanded from just 20 minutes depending on your climate. And the bonus is that it sands just like it does when you use the standard adjustment on metal parts and is not rubbery as you might expect for an elastified coating. So let's continue with the base coat which is applied as normal and because I'm working within the low energy system there is no need to activate or harden the base coat when overcoating with the low energy clear. After flash, complete the process with our fast cure low energy clear, making sure of course that you adjust it correctly for use on plastics. This will dry in around an hour at 20 degrees C or alternatively 15 to 20 minutes at 40 to 45 degrees C object temperature. And this process has several benefits. It will lower your energy cost whilst maintaining your productivity. It will lower the risk of deformation of the plastic part and of course it's future focused for repairing electric vehicles where higher booth temperatures can be a problem. So one new product can make a tremendous difference to the way that we repair and finish plastic parts. Now this product innovation and the benefits that come with it are not solely for the ultra productive body shops. They are for any shop that wants to reduce energy costs, increase their productivity and make their life much easier. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.